Fern? Trin? We're going to LA. Did you guys hear that? We are going to LA. I'm going to LA for one month. I'm taking you guys with me and I've never been more excited. You may be thinking this isn't that big of a deal, but I'm going to treat it like it's that big of a deal because if I told Younger Fern I was going to be living in LA with a little roomie, I would be ecstatic. I didn't even know it was going to happen in my lifetime. So I'm very excited. I'm excited to take you guys along with me. I'm taking you along my travel journey. The first night with Trinity, I'm so excited. And just to give you guys a little bit of excitement looking forward to the next month, I am going to have a little LA Diaries series. I will be meeting some of my favorite YouTubers, some of my favorite people, hanging out with old friends. I'm actually doing a little podcast panel, which I am so excited for. And I honestly, again, did not necessarily see in my future. So I'm so happy and glad it's happening. Coachella is coming up. There's going to be events. I have so much clothes packed. You don't even want to know how many suitcases I'm bringing. I'm going to be living my days in LA, going to my workouts, doing some grocery shopping, cooking, cleaning, all of the things that I'd be doing here, but in LA and seeing how I feel there. If I would ever want to move there potentially not saying that I am but like just seeing what it's like anyways my parents are about to get here and they're gonna take me to the airport so I got to make sure I'm all packed if you haven't already liked and subscribed make sure you do that let's get to 1.5 mil follow my podcast channel at better you by Fernanda let's get into it well now you know <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm officially at the airport. I'm so nervous because there's so many people here. We are on our way and we're one step closer. to get in by myself because I'm the first one. It's official. I've got my luggage in the back. I did in fact struggle like 20 minutes to try to get into this um, little home, but I'm here. I want to give you guys a little tour, but also for safety reasons, I don't want to like reveal too much. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the vibe is, but I'm here. I'm so happy. The place is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Guys, just wait until you see the bedroom that I am staying in. <sighs> I'm so excited. Like, can we acknowledge how cute this living room is? Or dining room? I'm dead. And like this doorway? Are you kidding me? Let me show you guys this freaking kitchen. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. Here's what the bathroom looks like. We got one room over here. I think this is the room I'm gonna stay in today. It's even got a mirror. Like, I'm so excited. Like, tell me you couldn't envision me living in here, making YouTube videos, morning routines, in the actual freaking sunlight. There's so much sunlight coming in, and the fact that it's sunny, I can already feel the good vibes that, like pouring out of me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Trinity isn't here yet and also Kaylee isn't here. Let me give a brief explanation for why I'm in Los Angeles. For starters, I'm going to be speaking on my first panel ever. I'm going to be doing a panel with Trinity and Kaylee. They both have podcasts. We're going to speak on a panel about how to start a successful podcast as a female entrepreneur in the space. I'm so excited. I've never done anything like public speaking like this, so I'm kind of nervous, but I think it's going to be really fun and something that will genuinely be a good learning lesson and like will help me out. So that's like three days. And then also Coachella. <laughs> Coachella is in two weeks, so like two and a half weeks. So I'm so freaking excited for that. My friend from home, Myela, is coming with me. If you've been an OG, you know her, you love her. I'm so excited for her to come. And so basically, I was gonna come to LA twice in the same month anyways. So then Trinity was like, Fernanda, why don't we just get an Airbnb and stay for the month? And it's kind of like we're cosplaying living in LA. And I was like, girl, that is a phenomenal idea. That's phenomenal because you know what? I am always debating where I wanna live. Do I wanna live in Vancouver, LA, New York? Anyways, I've only ever been in LA 
LA for like work related things or I've only been here for like a week at a time. So staying for a month is definitely a different experience that I'm excited to experience. Like the workout classes, the cooking, the day to day things, the looking out my window and seeing palm trees, the shopping, like vintage markets, Melrose Trading Post, Trader Joe's. Like there's just so many things I'm so excited for. And for the next month, I wanna try to get so much content and a lot of videos and just post as much as I can of like me living here and like cosplaying living in Los Angeles. It's basically the same type of videos I would be making at home, but here I wanna do a lot of lifestyle content. And as you know, since I'm with Trinity, she's the wellness queen. I'm definitely gonna be in my wellness era. Also, if you didn't already know this, my management, my agents, everyone lives in LA. So this will be the perfect time for me to get on my Zoom as some may say. I already have plans to meet with them. I'm doing some sponsors while I'm here. I might be doing some like magazine stuff. Like I could probably set up some photo shoots. Like there's just so many things work-wise that I can do in LA that I can't do in Vancouver that I'm so excited to actually do. Kaylee is here now. I'm gonna go get her. Look who's here. Y'all, I'm so excited. Guys, it's our first so morning in LA. We got some coffee and I'm ready to dig in. Wait, I really like seeing this place in the daylight. Like the colors, oh, the coffee table. It's also making me so like, happy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've got Blue Stone for breakfast, and and then we have a bunch of so say I absolutely love where we're staying I think it is so cute it is adorable and it's making me want to live here if you know you know I've said it in a few YouTube videos I think at the moment my dream place to live is somewhere that has very bright lighting somewhere with a lot of windows somewhere with maybe light brown flooring and it overall just makes me look very warm and like saturated because my apartment is very it's giving blue vibes this place is kind of like my dream place dream neighborhood all of the above so I'm absolutely loving being here the past few days I've been doing a lot of shopping and a lot of thrifting I recently went to the Melrose trading post which is super fun I have been just exploring Melrose just shopping going to vintage shops I made a little 2024 vision board and on the vision board I had a public speaking images so that is something to check off the vision board our panel was on how to grow a successful solo podcast and it was just advice from top charting wellness podcasters so that was super fun such a great topic I feel like we have so much to say and basically we had to practice and when I tell you we like hardly practice I'm not kidding we made our presentation and then kind of just winged it but our mentality was that our literal job is to talk to the camera and none of 
it is scripted so I feel like it's kind of hard to practice doing a panel when at the end of the day it's gonna be like a podcast live edition so we didn't really practice which meant I was very nervous we got to this LA convention center I got a little badge around my neck I had to be in full business wear I honestly felt like I was cosplaying an adult and then I had to remind myself Fernanda you're not cosplaying you are an adult with an actual job like you're, you're not cosplaying this is you today's the day we're on our way to our first panel ever as a trio trinity's already done a panel before though yes how are the nerves feeling everyone they're a bit better actually i'm feeling a bit more confident i'm excited <laughs> a little nervous as to be expected but we got this yeah yeah i'm excited it. too i feel like it's one of those things where we're really nervous right now but once we get up there yes. we start talking we're like yes. wow this is really so chill easy. Exactly. in fact we might even have to like slow ourselves down because i might be talking super fast i've got my little thing which yes. is stain the go ferny totally professional. We went up there and there was a lot of people. I feel like a lot of them were like middle-aged too. So we were kind of speaking to an older crowd about how to grow their podcast. And it was only 30 minutes. I honestly really wish that more of you guys could have came or we could have had a little meetup or like a meet and greet or, you know, it could have been more for you guys. But the tickets for this convention, which was like a three-day podcast thing, was like $400. And that is a lot of money. Going to step outside of my comfort zone in the next month while I live in LA to challenge myself to ask people to hang out that I normally wouldn't hang out with. Say yes to all the things that get thrown my way. I'm going to create opportunities for myself because I know that I will grow so much from it even if it doesn't go 100% how I want it to go. Even in the worst case scenario, I will probably benefit in some way or another. I'm just going to try to be the best version of myself while I'm here. Since I am staying with roomies, which is outside of my comfort zone, not gonna lie, I am going to learn how to build routines I think that there's going to be so much growth coming out of this month living in LA, so. We're going to LA. 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 